I'm very excited tonight to be playing Zero Orders Tactics. This looks like it's a, it looks more like a board game than, than a video game. It is a, oh, that's crazy size, because for me it is, this this is tiny. Let me, uh, let me click, oh, there we go, it's popped up. This is Zero Orders, to Orders Tactics. Looks like a board game, it's got a hex grid. Very strategic. Uh, I like this this artwork here, which is very funny because the game actually looks more like this little person pointing at the tutorial here. Uh, let's let's do the tutorial because it could get quite complex. Here we go. We've got our little grid. Tutorial. All right. Oh, that's that's small. She's a little demon, right? Those horns. Welcome to Zero Orders Tactics, a turn-based puzzle strategy with a unique in with unique indirect controls. In this game, you can't give orders to units. They choose their own path and targets for attack. You can see the order of units in the timeline <clears throat> below. Skeleton, devil, my guy, like cleric, and then uh What is that? It's like a goblin on a wag. Hover the mouse over you and see its plan or hold down right click to see all of them at once. Let's observe their actions. Press execute turn button on the left. This, this is crazy. This this like spinning of the tiles looks insane. It's so weird. Right, so what are you doing? You're gonna you can see here and you can attack that. The attack zone is like that. Okay. In front of them. You you're just gonna move one space. Your attack zone is in front of you. The goblin, I don't... Oh, it's going to come down into the into the field, I think. Okay. Uh, by the way, behind me is, like, behind my head here is the tutorial, but I'll read it out for you, don't worry, there's nothing else. My person is going to move here and get immediately obliterated, so... Um, apparently, I'm not allowed to do anything else. In this game, you can't give orders to units, they choose their own path and targets. Yep, yep, yep. Execute turn. How do I... Oh, it's this button up here. Right. Does This guy's going to move... And then I'm going to move. So I need to get out of the way of this guy's path. He is going to smash me up. Yep, yeah, we can see it right there. Your mission is protect civilian units. Units, uh, these green units. With Herc, Ha, on their way to the tower. Now an enemy skeleton threatens a princess. Because he's going to move and then attack. Uh, the defense is a badge of your units. You can't control them either, but you can put them on the board. Click on this in your hand and put them on the highlight tile. Okay. So I can put down a guy to protect them. I'm going to put them right here, I guess. Oh, you want me to put it here so that I can then move and attack. Your choices are very limited for now. After the tutorial, you get much more freedom. I promise. Your shield units will always attack before enemy units, so the knight will be killed before its turn, and you won't reach... The skeleton, sorry, will be this very, very small, and won't reach the lady. Um, but let's not forget about another threat. This guy, block his line of sight with mountains from your hand. That's what I like to see, right in front of his face. Let's learn how units choose their paths. By default, all shields and um, innocents, civilians move right, and all other units, bad units, move left. However, they also try to choose terrains they like. That is the reason why your knight is going upwards to the plains instead of the forest here. Um, it doesn't like forests. You can see their move choice by hovering your mouse over unit. Okay. So he'll go there if there's no other choice, but he will never go to these locations. That's interesting. By default, they all move right. However, they also try to move it when there's no difference. They, they go to the middle line, and that's it. The only exception of these rules is civilians, hearts. They always choose roads. Ah, okay. All right. In that case, looks like we're good. Let's execute. My guy's going to move. He's going to swing and do two damage. Close call. This guy can't see Jack. This guy's going to move three. I'm going to move just one here. This guy still can't do anything. Ooh, there's a chest now. Okay. Units don't have HP or damage stats. Every attack is a kill, just like in chess. Ah. Now you must get rid of that Goblin Warg Rider. Goblin Warg Rider. So I gave you a fast unit. Click on the... That's more like a knight, right? This is like a spearman. And swap him with your knight. Okay. You can swap them. 
What? But he's going to run over there. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Unfortunately, the knight's not going where we want. He likes planes. He doesn't have any reason to deviate from his default direction. Place a swamp in his path to change the direction. I'm going to place it here to block him, and then he's going to have to go up there. Good job. Now, his path is fixed because it's one of these three, and I guess he prefers swamp, and then it's one of these three, and he prefers this one. That's how that works. Uh, all right. Now, you know all three basic actions. Achieve your future victories. Place shield units, swap units with another from the board, and swap tiles. You know, he's one of them. Each of them once per turn. Okay. Looks like we're done. we've done all we can do. He's going to move up there, and he's going to swing and kill. Yeah. This guy's still blocked. Can't do anything about it. That guy's going to kill me, though. Still have my spearman, apparently. I need three more turns. Oh, two more turns. Oh no, your unit is killed! Don't worry, every time a shield unit is killed or goes through the right edge of the board, it simply returns to your hand, so you can use them again. Use basic actions to save the princess, let's say, and finish this tutorial. You may kill the skeleton or just redirect it. You may even fail this tutorial on this turn. This guy can't do jack. He sucks. Um, you... Now, I, I, your terrain, you can't go on mountains, you can't go on water. You can't go on mountains, you can't go on water. I do have this, so I can go boop, boop, boop. So I guess we're just going to go here. And we're going to go here. Undo button. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go here. And then... Tutorial's coming to an end, but there's still a few hints. Attack rules. Attack zones. Yeah, pay attention. There's more than one enemy to attack. The one with the biggest order number will be chosen. Interesting. Okay. That's good to that's very good to know. Jump, jump, and dead. He moved again. On this chest, this guy will move forward to that chest, which is excellent. Always examine feats of the unit. They can change the rules of the game. Some feats are good, like armor or vigilance. Others are bad, like attack only from light terrain. Well, that's what that guy has. And don't trust the plan view too much, because actions of one unit can affect the plans of the next one. Interesting. Tutorial mode is off. You can do whatever you want. I just press this. Um, I'm just going to press this, because I want him to get the chest. And then he's going to leave, come back to my hand. And I'm going to go here. And we win. So, less like a strategy war game and more like a puzzle game, to be honest, right? Like, we're trying to solve a puzzle here. Yes, with um, hex grid combat, but we're, we're trying to get someone down this path more than we are trying to, you know, take over the land or whatever. I like that. I do love puzzle games, so. Alfred, one level. First, who answers the call? All right, this is not native English. Um, might need a little bit of help translating. There we go. You can see XP, hearts, coins, and some other characters. But I think we can get through with the language. No worries here. These are different starters. Is that what it is? And Alfred stats and perks. And then there's this. Okay. I can level up. But I need to do more first. Map. Oh my. Okay. Now we're confused. And... Jesus, what is this? Two out of two, five out of five, six out of two. Two out of two of this. Right, so we've got two abilities, five lands, and six units. That's our hand, and our inventory is different somehow. Can I change these out? Ah. Well, we'll stick with the usual hand for now. Wait, it pushes you or ally unit right. Your or allied unit pushes your or allied unit pushes your allied unit to the right, I think. Haste, unit gets plus one speed for three turns seems insane. Reverse, unit reverses its direction. That is also insane because I can just straight send a, 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 a bad guy back home. This is cost 4, this is cost 2. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep that. Skills, we don't have any upgrades, I don't think, right now. 
We need zero out of five. We need more. We need more. We need more. And then map. So I guess it's like a roguelite. Is that what it's? A roguelite. Because we're we're leveling up. I'm got my cameras. I need my camera like. Is it this way I need it to come? I guess. Um, Alright, this guy's got a chest. It's a short mission. We got a guy on this mission. And more experience. This one is just two chests. I think we'll go for this one then. Defense, short mission. We should look ahead, but I really don't know what any of it means right now. So, let's just give it a shot. Trying to get more experience to level up more. Alright. Um, what the hell? What do you mean deploy? Deploy units too. Where is the castle? Is this middle line? Click for more. Where is the castle? Do we have to get her off the right hand side? Why is there an old man here? What are you? You are a rogue. A rogue, a spearman, a horseman, a horseman, and an archer. Don't mind an archer. Horseman can't move forward here, but he can move here. No. Horseman is stuck there, so we're gonna go like here. Uh, that was bad, because we have no defense on the bottom. It's just old men. I, I, I guess we... Are we supposed to kill them all? Is that the game this time? Okay. Right, this old man is not going to move anywhere because he doesn't like anything. And I don't I don't think they move anywhere. I think they're just old men. They just stand there and die. Um so they're just decoys <laughs> essentially. You're going to move there. You're going to move all the way over there, which I like. However, you yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually good. You, however, are not great. What if I change you to this? Then this guy might go do 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 no, he would still go there because it's the middle one. But this guy only moves one. But he might move... He wouldn't move down last next time, you know? What we need to do is block... No, he's going to go too high then. What we need to do really is... What if we make this one? If I make it a plane, he can't go through her anyway, but this guy could come down. Does the archer like forest? He does like forest. I'm going to do this for now so that the archer can... I've just realized he's going to go forward anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, I'm bad at this. Um, does anybody like mountains? Nobody likes freaking mountains. You know what? I'm going to put you here anyway. And then I'm going to go. And the reason we're going to do that is because eventually I'm going to change these mountains and I'm going to come and kill this guy. Oh, these guys have ranged attacks. I did not expect that when they had hatchets. I didn't think they were throwing hatchets. That's really bad for me from my side. There are more enemies coming in. This is bad. You can move there and attack. You only move one? For some reason, I can't use this yet. I don't know how to get mana for your spells. Mana per turn one. It is my second turn. I still only have one mana. Seems pretty pretty BS. He cannot move anywhere else for some reason. You move down, he only moves one. And you can't throw through mountains because he can't see. So you move there, that's fine. Next turn, I'll change this and kill you. You are you are scared. You're gonna you're scared. You're gonna move there. You're gonna shoot my guy. Now my guy can see if he moves here, he's gonna kill you first, actually. But then you are gonna move. What if you move here and kill my guy though? Instead, would you do that? Would you do that? What if I mess you up? If I put water there, he could just move up and kill me anyway. So I think this guy's just going to survive. What I'm going to do is... Yeah, he can go on mountain. If I make it water, he'll just go up here, potentially. 
How do you choose between top and bottom? Like, he always goes the middle route, but what was... You know what? Let's just try it out. My arch is going to go first. This guy's not going to do anything right now. I'm going to put down... A rogue here, I guess, just because. And then I'm going to play. This guy's going to move. He's going to shoot and kill this one. Now we're going to see... Oh, they kill each other because as soon as he sees him. Okay, that's weird. I thought it was they attacked and the other one attacked, but okay. He did go down, but that's because my other guy was dead. Now we can kill my rogue easily. And now my princess is going to get murked. Right. This is not great. I've just got to survive for this amount of rounds. But if I put my rogue here again, she will just kill that guy. If I change this to this, they'll kill each other. And I think I'm okay with that. This is haste. I think I'm okay with this. I need to kill them. You survived. And now these guys are going to kill each other. I don't know why they kill each other. I don't think the tutorial told me that. Is he not going to kill her? Oh, he's going to kill my princess first and I lose, right? Oh, I've got to save all three of them. Okay. So she can't attack backwards. I guess that's the... Oh, she can. She's going to kill that guy. Then... What if I put a knight here? Why can I not put a knight here? I Did I just screw up? I need to undo that. Yeah. Oh, shit. I undid everything. She's just going to attack there and not move. That's okay. I could... Change this and then put a knight here. He's going to kill the other guy, which is fine. Well, let's do that. We need this guy dead with the rogue, and then this guy dead. They're going to kill each other, are they? For some reason, he, they, they hit each other. I don't know why. Old man is dead. This guy can run on mountains. That's not good. But now we know. We need to survive one more turn. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, this guy can move twice, and he can just run on mountains. Doesn't seem like good thing um i can kill him but then this guy can move there and then kill that guy no he can because of he he can't like throw it that far i can also just like turn one of you back which is really funny um and i can put this here which oh no he's okay with that that's okay though it's okay for me as well so One of our civilians survived, and apparently that's that's what Mars. <gasps> we played that very, very, very poorly, but we won. Uh, we won in the end, somehow. I need more practice. Let's, uh... I can upgrade something. Hand limit for units. Start deploy units. Mana limit. Mana start, thank you. And then mana limit, no. Gold, 50? Nah. Start deploy units. I, I guess if that means I can have an extra unit out on the map. So now I can choose these guys' short mission, capture, or another defense. Once again, this has a lot of XP. By the way, this map is horrendous, so I'll tell you why. One... I'm not aware of the iconography right now, so, you know, S, I think, means small, because it's like, you know, the small one, then the medium one, then the large one. That's how I would imagine it. I don't think it's a great icon, but I understand it. These are the type of missions, capture, escort, uh, defense, and this one is, I don't know what that is. Is that I can get a person from it? Boss. Uh, this one's medium. Oh, yeah. And then 
all of them are red. Red just means it's a monster. But why is the path laid out in such a way where the connections between them can do this? What? Where are these paths going? I, because this is big. And then, does this go up to here? Does this go to here or to here? I have no clue where any of these paths are going. It's horrendous. It's honestly insane. So, I think I'm going to do this one simply so I can move on and get this Arcanist. But it is it is mental how, how awful that map is. It's just a terrible, terrible layout. Right. Deploy units three. So this time, I can have a guy out there. I do really like the rogue. I did like the rogue. I don't want her to move, though. I'll put her there for now. And we'll put another one here. And we can... The thing, the cool thing about the rogue is I can move something. And then they'll, then they'll move out afterwards, you know? Right, so he's just going to get eaten alive immediately. This guy's going to go and attack one. She moves two, which means I can't get to you. This one... You're going to move here and kill this guy. And then this one's going to come and kill you. I don't think I can do much about that. Because I can't deploy a unit that's going to shoot far enough. You know what? I, what number is this going to be? If I swap it with her, does it become number two in the timeline? It does. Because then if I change this terrain so that this guy... This guy like... Oh, he only moves one. Hmm. He only moves one, you see. Could change that lady to a knight, to a horse guy. And then she would run down here, kill this guy. Then this guy would just move behind and not do anything. And that one would eat that one. And then next turn, I'd kill you. Potentially. Spearman, footman, moves one. This doesn't like mountain, but will go on mountain. I don't have any water right now. So, yeah. You do nothing. You do nothing. You move here, kill this, and then die to this one. If I make this grass, you will move here and kill this one. First, and then this guy, one, two, three, four, could kill the second one. So, let's do that. I think we stick with this. And we go... Jump, jump, stab. And then the horse... Run and kill. Boom, two, three, four. They're gonna kill each other? No. I guess that was an ability that that guy had. That's another awkward thing. I understand that, like... Yes, I need to learn. learn. You'll learn the enemies, and all the information is available. It's down there in the bottom. But let me tell you, one, that's a much better view. Holding holding the middle mouse button. Although it doesn't have the move choice for some reason, or the attack zone. So it's actually not very good at all. I just don't know why it wouldn't be that same information, but in front of me. Doesn't block line of sight. Move speed one. Attacks back if under attack. Right, that's what I needed to know. Because if you click on it, then I can go here. I don't know why all this information isn't available. But yes, that's something that they have. Maybe that could be done with iconography above the guy's head, though. Right? Like, you know what I mean? There could be some iconography like that. Um, as well. Just to as a, as a reminder. You can't do anything. Oh, you don't mind, actually. You don't mind the uh, mountain. But you only move one. So you can't throw anything until the next turn. Um, so you move here, then you move here. And then I could just... I can actually mount on here, which is really funny. Because then you can do even less. You're just going to have to be like, move one, move one, move one, move one. Then move one and attack. And by that time, I should have been able to position something to kill you. Yeah. That actually makes sense. So, I want you here, I think, instead. So, when you move there, can you shoot them if they're on the mountain, though? I'm going to go next. He's going to jump off the map. I'll be back. 
you should get an extra mana or something on your turn if they leave the map. Because it's like a good thing to do. It's like that they've survived. It should be a reward, right? You, you need something that's like, I, you know, I got off the map. That lady, that lady's going to go off the map, obviously. Um, I could turn, I can turn it around. But it's interesting you can do that. Now, you are going to move one space onto the mountain. If I play a rogue here, she could move here, here, but he's going to move there, and she would move before the guy. So that's not great. I could go kill him with this guy, which I actually don't mind. So let's just do that. And then I'm going to make this like this, just in case, so this guy can kind of wait up there. You know what? I can give him haste. That's fun. Move him into position right. Oh, no, he's going to go this way. But that's okay, actually. Because they're going to move there. He should move there and shoot. But he does attack back. So he's going to kill my, my archer dude. Next turn. But that's, that's all right. Oh, no, doggy, you're, you're dead. Dude, you're dead. Doggy, you're dead. Um, you're going to move there and then attack. Why are you not going to move and then shoot? You are concerning me. If I change you into a rogue, you're going to move there and attack. That's good for me. I like that. Me likey. Uh, that's that's cool. Um, I think here... We just put a guy out just because it's better to have more people out. And potentially could run to get this chest. Which is, you know, some idea. One, two, three, four. Oh, I could actually just kill this guy right now. <laughs> that works too. Maybe next turn, if I have another turn, I can make a, a knight run over to that chest. I'll lose this old man. This isn't great. This is not great. Because um, now they're both going to die. So I actually can't do that. And I still didn't get another water. Uh, I can only put one unit out. It's not good. I don't like that the... Does, does it say where the units are going to drop? Because they kind of just seem to drop wherever they want randomly. And then they can just mess you up. Right? Action Hex provides you one extra action. Fill it with six sparks. Usually get sparked for each time you don't use an action. And I can give something haste, but that's it's pointless right now. I needed this, really. But I gave the other guy haste, thinking he might get to the chest. Um, this guy moves one. This lady moves two, so she'll kill the dog. We'll, we'll kill the dog. I don't see why not. But I can't play another thing. He's going to just run off the map. Um... And then I'm, I'm screwed. This kind of sucks. This kind of sucks. I have the exact wrong setup of tiles to stop this guy. But even then, if I put it here, he'd just go here. So I can't stop him anyway. I don't have the mana to do anything special because you get mana so few. You get one a turn. Which means you can use it probably once per combat. And then this guy's going to just run off the edge and not give me any benefit. I think there are some things... There are... I want more. I want to be able to do more. I'll survive. I'll win. But it's not good enough. I don't like that they can just drop down behind my units randomly. Like, dropping down here was bullshit. Like, that is way too close. Don't know why he killed Oh, because it's highest action or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, di I didn't like where he landed. Shouldn't they start on their side and I'll start on my side? It's not like... I'm sure he spawned there because I just killed a guy. Oh, I can get a goblin. Interesting. Crossbow guard seems pretty cool. I will take a crossbow guard. I will swap it. For, what What do you do? You move twice. Um, 
Attack zone is mirrored backwards. Cool. No attack after move. Ooh. That's that's an issue. Attacks back if under attack move speed too. It's it's an interesting thing. But this guy sucks so hard, I feel like. That maybe just put this guy. This guy just the one movement to the attack is just not good enough when the rogue is so much better. So let's try this. Pushes you are allied unit, right? Does allied unit mean that I'm gonna stick with what I've got? I'm gonna have to put down actually oh, I don't have any water in my deck yet until now. Mountains, I'm gonna put down a forest. Yeah. Skills. Limit your units on board plus one. No. Mana limit. No, no, no. Mana limit. No, I don't want mana limit. I want more mana pod per turn. Hand limit for units plus one. Minus one limit. Are you insane? What's this? Hand limit for spells. Start deploy range plus one. Yeah, sure. Just give me more mana. Oh, god damn it. Doesn't work. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, we got the Arcanist, I think. Oh, she lets us upgrade. Good good job we knew that. Good job we knew that the Arcanist meant a shop and not a unit when this is what she looks like. How was I supposed to know? I can change these three to two trees. Don't want to do that. I can give haste for 39 gold and then I'll have... We have 80... Oh, we have 40. So we'll have like 94 gold. Still not good enough to do anything. So that was just pointless. This could have been fun. Uh, this one would have been best, I think. But no, we just got screwed. Let's just go to the map. And we'll go to a water area. Capture enemies. I don't know what capture is. But let's try it out. Oh, then we've got to go to a medium level. And I'm worried that it's just going to be too long. <laughs> I'm worried it's going to be too long. We're going to have to try it. We need to see what our medium map looks like. Oh, God. This looks awful. Okay. Is my goal to just get to the things? Because immediately this guy's going to shoot me, right? Why can't I put... Oh, I can't put anyone down yet. Okay. I'm going to put down this rogue so she can kill that guy. Rogue's, rogue's pretty cool, man. Uh, and then the this guard is going to also be able to shoot. And I can't choose the timeline. Oh, the timeline is the order I deployed them in. That's a bit weird, but okay. That's fine. You move. Can't do anything else. You move, kill. Then you hopefully shoot this guy. Why did you move? Why did you move? Isn't your range two? Uh, why did that guy die? His range is infinite. Is your range? Oh, it's a gap then too. Um, why did you not shoot my guy? Oh, it's only you only shoot one space ahead. Now I see why you suck ass. Okay. Um, and you're not even gonna kill this guy. You're gonna move down there so you can get blasted by this guy. Excellent. You're a genius. Um. Wow, yeah, you suck. You 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 suck ass, dude. You you're garbage. Uh absolute garbage to your players on your behalf. So we'll go get the chest. Um and can I just trade you for like not a moron? There we go. That that'll do. Oh, yeah, I want this guy to go. I don't want him to attack. Cause he can only attack on, on planes that he likes, right? Which also should be an icon above his head. Just to remind you. Right, now she can't do anything. This guy can't do anything. She's going to jump over here and kill him next turn. And this guy still can't do anything. So I love these I love these rogues, dude. They are absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, You're going to move here. I'm going to give you haste just to, to get you moving. Let's see what happens. That guy's gone. He can't actually get off the screen yet. I should have probably put down a thing. Yeah, kill that guy, please, because he'll kill you. It's a good priority. There we go. Now you're not in this guy's range, because it's over here. That uh, guy's just going to get fireballed from this one. And then, why did... Why, what do you mean, battle over? What does that mean? Why was the battle over? We were just about to get the chest. 
What what happened? Why was that a thing? One per turn is what we want. Okay. To get negatives in a game like this seems pretty strange to like build out negatives. So like deploy, start deploy units. It's, it's a bit weird. Um bit weird, but it's okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Why is our hand looking like this when I specifically had it very different? Um, I had a forest in there as well. Do you, when you use a tile, do they go away forever? Is that what you're telling me? Because none of the other things do. That wouldn't make any sense. No, that would be stupid. Um, that can't be how it works. I just must be reading it wrong. Right, medium escort mission. Not great. Not great. We're not good at this game. So an ex ex escort mission seems pretty sketch. Um, right, do we know where the enemies are going to come from? Plain view, hold shift or this. Uh, no, no, I get, I get it. I get what's going on. It's just, it's not good for me. I actually want you there so that when these... Oh, they're, they are going to move, and then next turn you can run ahead. But right now, I probably want you, like, here. And then I want to put down a planes here so you can cross. You're scary. You are very, very scary. I can change this guy to a, to a knight next turn, to a... Uh, a rider. The music is nuts. It's so good. Music. The music is like Final Fantasy end boss music. There is. This is just bizarre how good this music is. Right. You can shoot there. That's pretty. Pretty sweet, man. That is pretty sweet. If I change this to this. We, why can you kill me and I cannot kill you? Because I can't attack on terrain that I don't like because I'm a stupid idiot. Yeah, that sucks. Um, but if I give you haste, then you could, you could move up here potentially and do exactly that. There we go. Now we're thinking with portals. You don't move. You just stay there. You're not going to move. No, that is excellent. If I move you, do you attack? No, you also don't attack. If I make you a rogue, you're going to go up there, which is not great. Might as well just leave you for now. Get shot! Come on, my guy. And up and swing. Let's go. Oh, and he took the spot. And now I'm going to get shot. I didn't think he was going to move again. Why did he move again? He more, does, Is that a thing that he has? Always move into the position of the thing, the attack that he makes? Because that, that is not good. That is an awful thing. Do I have a board wipe, please? I'm about to get murdered. And I can't do anything about it because... All my tiles are dog shit, like always. But if I do this, this guy can't see, right? He can't shoot me. And this guy doesn't like water. So I can put him here still and get him ready for next turn. I need to give this guy his because he sucks so hard. You are not doing anything. Because you cannot move. I, I get that. I know I needed to put a terrain tile there as well, but I needed to block this guy's line of sight, you know what I'm saying? Next turn, if I can make this a planes also, I could kill one of the, I could kill this guy. Oh! That works like that, does it? Nice work, tutorial. Didn't teach me one of the more, most important concepts. That is nonsense. You are so ass, dude. You suck. 
You really suck. If I make you though, you are like the best. You you rock. You're gonna shoot you, but you are gonna kill a guy. Now, one, two, I actually need you. If you're here, I can't make you go there, obviously. I can't make you move there either. I can give you a haste. Which means no, but even then. Yeah, so that sucks. You, I can make you fight somebody. What I can do is do this, actually. I can make you, you. I think that kills you. You can still throw your axe. Okay, you're an axe thrower. I didn't, I didn't see that. Okay. And now I lose. <laughs> we need to, oh no, wait, you're going to kill that guy. Then he's going to move there and he doesn't throw his weapon. I don't think if, let me just check real quick because I've got to. Multi-attack. Every enemy is in Saxon. Okay. You, this guy's dead, though. Is there a way I could have done this better? Let's try again. I do believe... So, you're an axe thrower, and for some reason, you can throw over mountains. Oh, it's because you're going to move. And then throw. But wait a minute. Why don't you move... If I make this water, why don't you move to a different place? Because you still have an attack target? Is that why? Can I give you haste and get you the fuck out of there? No. This guy, I think for sure... Thing is, I can't attack with a knight. Because they need the plane. They need the planes, for sure. Um, and you are going to kill my rogue after she's killed this guy. I do not like that. You can't do much. You're just going to move here than here. But actually, you're going to die right now. And I can't make you die. Changing you for a rogue does nothing. In fact, if I... Yeah, because either way, you'll you'll kill the highest number. So, you should be remain the same. I will make you into a rogue. I need to think about putting down something for next turn. That's going to be an issue. What does this guy like to go on? He likes to go on mountains. The thing is, if he goes onto the mountain, that's good for me. Because I don't want him to attack my lady. So, if we do this, the old man dies. But my rogue survives, as far as I can tell. If this guy moves forward. We will revenge for you, I think he said. Why didn't you go to the mountain when you specifically like mountains? I thought the game said it couldn't, you couldn't control it, but you definitely can be controlled because the enemies are controlling the shit out of it. Right, and now an enemy spawned here for some reason, and an enemy spawned here for some reason. Both of which seem like terrible, terrible things. So, if I turn you the opposite direction, that's kind of funny because then the dog can't do anything. Oh, it can go on mountains, so it can just go boop, boop. But what if I do this? Now the dog can't do anything. And then, if I put a knight here... Only attacks from planes, dude. This guy is so ass. Could attack the dog. Probably attack this guy just so he protects my archer. Let's try this. Didn't I already turn this into war? Oh, I can do two things now. Okay. Um, so this guy, right, so this guy's going to move here. This guy's going to move here and kill me. <laughs> Actually. This guy's going to move here. This guy's going to move here and kill me. So I need to do something about that. I don't think I can do anything about that, which is the, the, the issue. I wish I could control the timeline in some way. 
Right, instead, we're gonna undo. I think I have an idea. This guy can turn around and attack. That is fucking horrendous. I did not realize. Yeah. You need to be a rogue. And you're still not going to kill that guy. Why not? Rogue, tell me why not. Only... Attacks from forests and my- oh my god, I didn't realize you were fucking annoying as well. I can turn one enemy around. You're not gonna attack it. Oh my god, everybody's gonna kill it. Yeah, no, this game over. <laughs> There's not a fucking chance we're doing this. Um, I mean, if I did make this water, he can't cross it. What I wanted is for this guy to go here and block the thing so this guy couldn't get around this guy can't cross there either i need to kill this one somehow um but maybe i can actually change this to a different terrain the thing is i can organize what i don't organize where my character is in the timeline right like if i create a guy now why is he always number two that just is how it's going to be. Okay. It's always going to be number two. Which means... If I change this to... If I change this to this... I can make that one in us. I can make this one a rogue. And that, that one's dead. This one's blocked. Currently, this one can kill me. This one is because I turned it around... So you move here, you are blocked, you are blocked, you get killed. But then this guy still, after all that, because you've already moved, you just move here and kill me. That's the issue now. And I don't think I can do anything about that. I actually could have placed you there, could I? Okay. So... I actually can place you right here and you'll kill that guy. I can still turn you around. I can still block those potentially. You're dead. And now there's still three guys attacking. Um, if I can get this terrain changed as well. But you're going to move first and then you move. That's the issue. You move first. I just need one turn. And you barely move. If you move here, you could shoot this guy, which I do need you to do, instead of this guy. If I put this here, would you move there? No, you're gonna you're gonna still shoot him, are you? Oh, it's only one space anyway, yeah. Alright. Interesting. You kill that guy. Blocked, potentially. Turned around. You're gonna move here, block this one. You're gonna move there and kill me. I can still change one terrain. Like I said, but even if he moves up there, it's the same. Uh, the only thing I can do is try and get someone to kill you, but you're gonna you're gonna go after this wolf as a defense of one. And then there's nowhere for you to go. Cause he only attacks from planes, and I don't happen to have any in my hand, which is just so shit. It's just so unlucky. It's unbelievable. Like, he's just such an awful character. One, two. Only attack from planes. So I can go one, two, three. She can move. 
but she can't do anything else, and she can also only attack from like a forest. So if, if I put her here, she will move there and then turn around and attack. And if I give her haste, it's still not enough. God damn, it's like this entire map is set up to fuck me for this one exact combat scenario. Like, it is so perfectly screwing me over right now in every single way. I have torn this level to pieces considering all of these options. And I feel like I have a lot of options, but I still lose no matter what I do. Because even the one thing of like, maybe I can get in from up here. No, they put a wolf up here to block it. Like, everything, everything has been considered just to screw me up for this one moment. That's how it feels. This is insane. At my disposal, I have two things that I can change. I can change the direction of an enemy. I can kill both of these guys. They're not an issue. Let's just put him down. These guys are dead before the level even starts. I just need to deal with these three. Now, if I... I, I can't put a plane down, so I can't attack this guy. If I turn this guy around, I still need to kill this one. So I absolutely have to turn this guy around. And this guy, what terrain does he hit? Only water. Only water. So he will still go on terrain. But there's this forest that he doesn't like either. That's the problem. This guy likes the forest. But if I put forest here, then he'll just go forest and then... And then the middle and kill me anyway. So I put a forest and then water. He'll still go forest. And then the mountain and the plains are the same. So to the mountain. Even if I put two water here. Like we did. This is the only situation. But this guy moves first. And then this guy moves and kills me. Which is so upsetting. Just absolutely everything to screw us up. Well, I think we tried. Let's watch it unfold. Damn shame. Real damn shame. It's a cool game. I just think there's a couple of things. I think one, the map is awful. Not this hex grid map. This is just, this is fine. I, I mean, it could do, could look nicer, right? But the, the uh, roguelike part of it, like the, the dungeon map, needs it, it, it needs a complete overhaul. It is, it is awful. Like, the information layout is pretty bad. Like, just design of, like, you know, we know what units are. Mana, I guess. Uh, start deploying units. It's, it's, it's okay iconography, but I, I feel like it could be done much better. This map is horrendous. I wish Mysterious Blacksmith Merchant. Yeah. You know what? If I'd have hovered over them, all of them, instead of just the Arcanist, maybe we would have realized that. But these look still, they look too close to units. They look like units. I know that Blacksmith is going to be a Blacksmith and a Merchant's going to be a Merchant, right? And they're not fighting units. But why make them unit looking anyway? Why make them look like units? Why not have an anvil and a hammer? Why not have a shop set up? Why not have some, you know, a, an open spell book and a weapon laid over it? Something. Why have it with units? They look like units. Why would you use the same design? It's confusing. You want it to be immediately readable? This map is the opposite of that. It, it You have to study this map to understand it at all. Um, yeah, the crisscrossing paths, the design of this. This is all right. It seems kind of weird. A lot of the time, it is, you know, you are like screwing yourself to do other things. So I get it. You're getting weaker in other areas to get stronger in, in some others. But aren't you supposed to just, in a roguelike, aren't you supposed to just get stronger and stronger? But the enemies that you fight and the situations that you're in are supposed to get more and more challenging. Instead, in this time, you're also making yourself weaker to hone in on to like, you know, you want a lot of mana or you want a lot more units to deploy or 
And you just make it always be better, but just make the fights harder, you know? And then if you want to be good with units and good with magic, you can, you know, you can play like that if you want. This this really limits, like, your play styles, I feel. I'm not a super big fan of, like, the minus one limits to get to the next area. It, it, it feels kind of bad. Um, this hand is very confusing because my tiles didn't seem to show up in the fight. I mean, I guess they're randomized, maybe, but it didn't really explain to me. I guess maybe there's a bag of 20 and each one of these is multiplied four times or something. Because I saw like a bunch of mountains and no planes every time, right? So what, how does that work? A bit of explanation around that would be really nice because that is super important. I think some units are just so awful that they, they just feel terrible. Like um, they're a bit weird. This guy is so good, but you have to only attack from a planes. You need more planes in your deck, and I just didn't have any. And there's didn't seem to be too much recourse, you know? Like, yes, I could have gone. I, I needed to, like, um, you need to choose early on. Like, look at that. Two planes, that's an amazing reward. But instead of doing that, maybe the reward is just a hex tile, and then it gives you three options of different hex tiles to choose. You know what I mean? Because that's just too specific. If I want two planes, yeah. But if I want just two hex tiles, right? That's how it should be done. Rewards are nigh. Okay, but what if it was just a unit and then when you choose it? And then you can get upgrades like more unit options at the end of a fight or things like that, right? Rewards, same thing. You get that specific spell. Well, what if it was just a spell and then you can choose between three different spells? It just gives you more options. Um, it also means, you know, you're a little bit blinder going in, but that's okay. Because you have more chance afterwards, right? You have, you have the... The randomness, yeah, for sure, but that's kind of the risk. And then the reward is is much better because you have to deal with what you can't you, uh, do. You have to make do with what you have. Um, and also, you, then you can include other things, right? Like reroll rewards and things like that. There's there's all sorts of different other that uh, mechanics like that, like reward mechanics that other roguelites use, right? This is not a new concept steal the best ideas from other people on other games don't 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 try to reinvent the wheel when you already you know <laughs> you already have a, a wheelbarrow don't try and reinvent the wheel do you see what i mean uh the the core functionality of it the basis of it steal all that stuff the gameplay is unique enough i really liked it but yeah i think just some design wise um, I really didn't like the enemies dropping down, like, randomly seemingly on the map. If it told me where the enemies were going to drop in advance so I could plan around that, that seemed that would be much better, you know? Like, um... Oh, what's the game? Oh my god, what is the game, dude? The, the, like, the absolutely insanely good strategy game. Game, big... Bugs, robots, oh my god. Into the breach, into the breach. Why not Why not just do that, right? Like, uh, make it into the breach style where you can see when the enemies are coming. Potentially, you could even block them from coming, right? By having your unit underneath them. I and mean, if you have a unit underneath them, maybe the enemy drops down and your unit and that unit dies or something, right? Something. Doesn't even have to tell you which units are going to drop. I mean, it's more information, it's more, more strategy. But just the fact that units are dropping is huge, huge, huge for this. It need, you need to know where they're coming so you can plan around it. Um, you know, more units that can protect or maybe the ability to move your citizens a little bit. You know, when they're on the path, no. But when you're on like a defense mission, your units are just really screwed um, if they're in a bad position. And there's not much you can do about it. Being able to just... You know, even as a magic spell uses one mana or something, can be used once a turn. Being able to move your units seems just one certain seems really good. Just there's so many places this can expand. I think that's great. Um, very, very cool game. Very happy to have played it. I would like to play some more of it. Oh, Vincent's going crazy. I think Kim's back. Give me a sec. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, I was just saying, you know, it was... Um, the whole idea is like... It's, it's fantastic. A lot of the mechanics are there already. It's functional. The pathing, obviously, you need um, to really start to understand it. It's, it's kind of a unique thing with this game. So you really have to play it. And, and you're going to eventually... That's going to become second nature, right? Like, you're going to know exactly where your unit's going to move. 
For a new player, it's very awkward. You don't know exactly where what's going to happen. Having, you know, five, six different terrain types and then having to remember each unit's favorites. And yeah, well, it's available in the bottom corner, right? And you can look at them. Yeah, but no, not if you want to plan eventually, you're going to need to get faster at the game, right? You're going to want to get faster. And so it's a lot to hold in. Maybe the way to cement that into players' minds is what if there's a mission? What if there's a game mode that isn't just, you know, the, do the roguelike, you know, why don't you go and slay the spire? Why not have uh, mission modes, right? Where you've got to try and accomplish a certain task by using certain units, you know? Like, here is the situation, like, almost like a seeded level, right? Like, here's the level. How do you win in two turns? Here's the level, you know, like missions like that instead of just randomized ones as well. That could be pretty cool. Um, it's a good way to maybe unlock stuff for the main mode of the game, but also teach your users how, you know, teach your players how to play it. Um, so it's kind of like the tutorial is made into an actual secondary mode, like a mission mode, campaign kind of thing, uh, that everybody plays the same, and then you do the roguelike thing. Something, right? There's different ways to do it. You've got to teach your players a lot in this game, a lot of new information. On top of the roguelike mechanics, on top of the skill tree, on top of the hand management. So you need to make that as, as easy as possible. Just some feedback from, you know, uh, a dude. But I, I think that's a really, really cool game. I pointed out, I think, a lot of things I would like to see tweaked in the future. But still, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, if you like, I mean, the pixel art is, it's, it's fine. It's, I mean, the pixel art guys, the little people, the, the units are super nice. But, like, the hex grid map is, you know, it's very, very simple. It's, it's, it's kind of thrown together. It's okay. All of it, like the, the pixel art up here with the heart and stuff as well. Let me just... Ooh, things like that, you know? It's okay. But, st and even this, right? But uh, the actual, the units are so nice. I think the rest of the game, you know, will eventually get there. I don't know if this is going into early access or what's happening. Let me, in fact, let me check what the message we got from... From Dom. Let me, let me just check this real quick. He sent me this over, I think today. So, like, last message. He's a one-man studio, Pavel. Um, that's crazy. Uh, that's still a lot, a lot of work, man. It's an experimental turn-based puzzle strategy where you are a god, not a silly general. Instead of making commands, you are making mountains, lakes, and other divine stuff. Nothing's random. Everything is predictable. Well, that's, that's what I mean. I want it to be like that. So, maybe I'm just not seeing where the enemies are dropping down, but to me, it seemed kind of random. Hopefully, maybe that's not the case, but we'll, we'll see. Um, this is actually going to be released most like November, it says, this year. Full predictable combat, zero randomness, massively inspired by Into the Breach, right? So show me where the units are falling. I just, I haven't seen that. Maybe, maybe it's there and I just didn't notice it and I'm being silly. Indirect control, you can control, you, you can't control them, your pathfinding rules, rule the battlefield, replayability and roguelike, roguelite progression. Yeah, I think that was just awesome just a lot of really really cool things to explore there i'm very excited to see where that goes that is zero order tactics zot thanks for watching check it out i think the i think the demo might be coming available soon so maybe you can wishlist it uh, and then it'll let you know uh, that when the demo does come out but until then yeah thanks for watching see you next time bye